today we will see some misconceptions and mistakes related to profit and loss. Misconception 1. Identify the following statement as true or false. The selling price SP of an item is always higher than its cost price. Some of the students have misconception that the selling price of an item is always higher than its cost price. But this is a wrong understanding. So option 1 is the wrong answer. The selling price of an item may be equal to or less than its cost price. If SP is greater than CP, then there is profit in the transaction. If SP is less than CP, then there is loss in the transaction. If SP is equal to CP, then there is neither profit nor loss in the transaction. Hence, option 2 is the correct answer. Misconception 2 Sangeeta bought some sports goods for 2000 rupees. She sold it to school for rupees 2500. What is the profit percentage in this transaction? Some children think that the profit or loss percentage is obtained on selling price of the item. So, they use the wrong formula to find the profit or loss percentage. They write profit percentage is equal to Profit divided by selling price multiplied by 100 or loss percent is equal to loss divided by selling price multiplied by 100. While solving this example, children write profit is equal to SP minus CP is equal to 2500 rupees minus 2000 rupees is equal to 500 rupees. But while getting the percentage, they write the formula like this. Profit percentage is equal to profit divided by selling price multiplied by 100%. By placing the numbers in this formula, they solve it like this. They get 20% profit as the answer, but it is wrong. Hence, option 1 is wrong answer. Remember, profit or loss is obtained on the cost price of the item. So, the cost price is always the base for finding profit or loss percentage. So, the correct formula is profit percentage is equal to profit divided by cost price multiplied by 100% which is equal to 500 divided by 2000 multiplied by 100 is equal to 25%. Hence, option 2 is the correct answer. Now, let's see some mistakes. A shopkeeper buys 40 items for 2800 rupees. He sells them at a profit of 16%. Find the selling price of the goods. Children do not understand the information given in the question properly and they also do not understand how to use it. Because of this, they make some mistakes. Let us understand these mistakes. Mistake 1. Some children do not understand the question properly. Here, the cost price of 40 items is given. But they think that the cost price of 40 items is equal to 40 multiplied by 2800 rupees is equal to 1,12,000 rupees. This is a misunderstanding. Mistake 2 Given the cost price is equal to 2800 rupees and the profit percentage is equal to 16% is equal to 16 divided by 100. The cost price and the profit are used to find the selling price. To do this, some children add percentage profit to the cost price. Hence, they get selling price is equal to cost price plus profit which is equal to 2800 plus 16 divided by 100 which is equal to 2,80,016 rupees divided by 100 which is wrong. Remember, the selling price is obtained by adding the profit to the cost price so we must convert the profit given in percentage into actual profit. Here, 16% profit tells us that if cost price is rupees 100 
then the profit is rupees 16. In this way, we can say that when the cost price is 1 rupees, the profit will be 16 divided by 100. In this way, when the cost price is 2800 rupees, then the profit will be rupees 16 divided by 100 multiplied by 2800 that is 448 rupees. Hence, the selling price will be 2800 rupees plus 448 rupees is equal to 3248 rupees. So, today we have seen some misconceptions and mistakes related to profit and loss.